Want to know a few ways to get a more natural acoustic sound out of your digital piano? Stick around, I'll tell you how. Hi, this is Ted Barsulu with Alamo Music Center in beautiful downtown San Antonio, Texas. And before I get into it today, I need to thank you for watching our videos, for liking our videos, sending in your comments, remind you to visit our website at alamomusic.com. And if you have comments and suggestions, keep sending them in. There's a few out there I do want to respond to. Someone wants us to do an acoustic review of a GX5, and they say, how come you guys haven't done it, you haven't done it? Well, we've had some availability problems on getting that instrument in here. So now that I believe we have one in, we should have a video coming up pretty soon. Again, today, what I want to talk about is how to get a more realistic piano sound out of your digital piano. And uh, it kind of all starts with temperament. And temperament is the choice of uh, the spacing and the tuning between uh, the seven note scale and then including uh, the chromatic scale up to 12 notes. And we have some demos out there and there's a couple suggestions and these are things that have been used on the sales floor to make uh, a certain, to make any kind of digital piano if it has this availability feature on there to change the tuning and the scaling in the instrument. And so what that does and what we're going to discuss, what I'm going to discuss today and give you a couple examples of mostly through uh, just the C scale and a chromatic scale and then a very small short demonstration piece of the tuning of the instrument at uh, 440 cycles for the A uh, above middle C and then also changing that tuning to 432. And part of that tuning, as you can see that on the internet, there's a lot of videos that where a guy takes a speaker and uh, puts a board and puts some sand on it and you can see how the geometric forms based on the wave pattern that the notes are putting out. And you'll notice that on 440 you don't get a whole lot of beautiful geometric designs because that's not really what is being produced and that's not what you're going to see and that's not what you're going to hear. It doesn't mean that what you're hearing looks like or sounds like what it looks like, but it pretty much is one in the same. So at 432 you start getting all of the ratios of triangles inside squares inside a circle and so all of these things are a lot easier to discern visually and also auditorily. So what um, I've done on the floor from time to time is change the tuning from 440 down to 432. It's not that big of a noticeable difference. It's kind of in between. Uh, it's not quite a half step. It's more like just a little bit more than a quarter tone. And uh, it just gives a warmer overall sound to the, to the instrument, particularly through the air. I don't know how a lot of this is going to come out through, through the wiring, but through the air and the movement of air, uh, there is a difference. And then the other difference that we have some pictures that we're going to talk about are using two different temperaments. And one of them is Kernberger and the other one is the Workmeister. And these tunings have been around for a couple of hundred years and they're, they're pretty well balanced and that's kind of how a lot of music uh, used to be recorded based off one or two or a combination of those scales or just intonation. So there's different ways to tune a piano and what that does is a lot of times some pianos and instruments originally uh, back hundreds of years ago were tuned to a, a particular kind of note or scale and that meant that only certain pieces of music would sound good on there. If you went up into the black keys and played a lot on the black keys, well that's where a lot of uh, the tuning pushes in terms of the, the thirds. A lot of those things get pushed off into the black keys because traditionally not a lot of people play on the black keys. So that was something that uh, through the history of music has always been uh, kind of a compromise. Now what we have here when you listen to it is you listen to how music changed around in the mid 80s and most, mostly that was done because a lot of the instruments became quote unquote digital instruments. A lot of traditional stringed piano instruments were replaced with samples and then you also had uh, a lot of digital instruments like say for example the Fender Rhodes quote unquote sound of a DX7 uh, is actually tuned different. And, most digital pianos, for, for the most part, they come out tuned in equal temperament, which means every single one of these half steps have the same amount of space between them. In the Kernberger and in the Workmeister and in different tunings, some of these notes are pushed by sense. They're usually flatter or sharper than normal. And with, if you jump from the white keys to the black keys, you'll notice there's some intonation differences in the scales. And that's pretty much one thing I remember about a little kid playing a piano 
is that when I was first learning, the, the white keys always sounded really good the minute you went up and started doing scales in the black keys. Well, the tuning was different and the notes came out sounding different. The scales were a little harsher or more minor or just sounded different. The intonation was different. But what happens uh, in music is when you listen to a recording from, say, the the early to mid 70s of any singer songwriter that used an acoustic piano a lot of times you find out that the whole band tunes to that piano which means their scale is going to be very very similar so the whole recording sounds in tune and there was no problem with that until equal temperament came along and then everyone had to start using the same type of digital tuners in the studio so they'd get the same vibrations playing the same kind of notes sometimes they were just off by microtones and it was enough to drive recording engineers crazy. The mid 80s were a tough time for studio uh, owner operators and producers because if they had any acoustic instrument inside a digital recording they had to really double check the tuning on it. So what I'd like to, to point out is how harmonies have changed mostly the minor and major thirds in the last 35-40 years because of that temperament tuning and change in the scale from uh, having some kind of just tuning or Kernberger or Workmeister tuning in there to where it's just straight equal temperament. And so equal temperament just basically makes every single key that you play in pretty much have the exact same intonation, just different pitches. And so with that, I'm going to go to some examples here. I'm going to play uh, a couple of scales. And initially, I think I start off at 440, then we lower the tuning, and then I change the scale. And in each one, I play the kind of the same uh, musical passage so you can hear how that affects uh, some of the major chords within that scale. So let's have a listen to that right now. I don't know if all of you can notice the difference in the scales, the chromatic. Um, certainly there's a big change changing from 440 to 432. And then when you first change over out of equal temperament, everything sounds just a little bit pushed or almost on the edge of sour or, or it's like someone put lemon juice on the tuning and certain notes. But what I wanted to talk about is in your digital piano, there should be a function in your function button that's called scale or tuning. So first go to your tuning and then you'll notice it'll show usually a tuning fork and that'll be set at 440. 
You can go up by microtones and it'll show you to go for 39.9 something, 99, or it can go up, you know, 440.0102 and go all the way up uh, till it starts changing to 441 and then 442. And you can tune the piano ho however you would like. The other thing is there should be something next to that button or another tab or near it that's called scale. When you go through that, a lot of times you'll see Pythagorean will be up near the top, mean tone, and then uh, sometimes they have minor and a major type of, of scale on there. Those are going to sound really kind of horrid and, and sour, uh, and it's just a different way of tuning the instrument. The ones you want to look for is one that says Workmeister or Kernberger, because a lot of uh, the singer-songwriters from the 70s that used piano bass absolutely found those kind of tunings on the piano and they I don't know if they had anything to do with it if it was just uh, a contractor with each different studio uh, but there are certain pianos that have a certain kind of sound in certain recordings and if you listen to the recordings enough you can tell that for example Elton John playing Tiny Dancer in the 70s off the original recording to how it sounds now well now when he plays it live it's all equal temperament it was not like that back when he originally wrote the song and the same can be said of just about any performer that's still performing now that was active in the, in the early 70s recording playing music and playing concerts uh, their sound has changed it sounds a little bit cleaner it sounds more precise more perfect and it still is the same song but the overall tuning is going to be a little bit different so look for those tunings on your piano play some of your favorite pieces through Workmeister or uh, through the Kernberger tuning and then go back to equal temperament and see how that changes. I know that a lot of people uh, don't ever really fool with the tuning and we have had an instance here where someone had um, uh, rented a digital piano from us and I don't know how this happened but they brought it back in after the weekend and used it on their gig and said that digital piano is way out of tune. Well, someone went into the function buttons at the gig and changed it to mean, I believe it was Pythagorean tuning, thinking that it would be perfect. And it is if you stay within a certain range. If you go out above one octave, it, you start getting an extremely sour sounding piano. And yeah, it was out of tune. But digital pianos, when they go out of tune, it's because of the way someone has usually set up the tuning inside it. So you have to go back in and double check, see if you're at 440 or some other place you want it, and then see what kind of scale temperament you have on it. And if I'm sure there's people out there that have tons, tons of comments and piano tuners, I, I would love to hear some of those comments back from them or what they think about instead of just criticizing a digital piano, but using an alternative tuning on a digital piano so that it sounds more human or humane. And anyway, again, I am Ted with Alamo Music Center. Would really appreciate your comments on this tuning. And if you notice any kind of differences playing your favorite songs, let us know and we'll be looking for you in videos down the road. Thank you very much for watching.